The DCAD core drafting engine is very similar to other computer-aided design programs, but it's a fairly clean interface and works very quickly indeed. Here's a drawing of, a, of an elevator, and so the black area is the drafting area. There are a series of drop-down menu with commands linked to those drop-down menus that give you access to all of the commands you'd expect to find in a computer-aided design program. Many of the commands are directly compatible with AutoCAD commands. So for the sake of argument, if we type L in the command line down in the command area there, that activates the line command and we can draw a line. We can change the color of the line in that drop-down menu. We can change the line type in that drop-down menu and we can change the thickness of the line in this drop-down menu. Layers are controlled as they are in many other CAD programs by a layer dialog box. There's a dialog box to control the stacking order of layers. I'll just move that onto the screen and close. And you've got a whole lot of toolbars which can be floated. Let's float this one. It's the modify toolbar. And then we can bring it up and dock it wherever we want on the screen. So things work pretty much in the same way as you would expect uh, any other CAD program. You've, you can load a number of drawings at the same time. So if we click window here, we've got uh, a number of drawings open at the moment. An electrical schematic drawing is open. I can right click and go zoom extents or use the wheel of the mouse to zoom in on any part of the, of the diagram. Let's choose another. Here's a sort of pseudo architectural one, uh, a column. So if I select any entity in the drawing, I can right click and go to properties. I'll move it again onto the screen. You can find out the precise length, height, and other information about the selected object. So you have lots and lots of tools in there that help you produce drawings quickly and efficiently. You can use um, the DCAD engine for business graphics if you want, uh, with all sorts of possible ways of using the program. So DCAD's the core to a whole lot of other programs which have different symbol libraries and those symbol libraries are utilized by clicking insert block library and you just browse to wherever your symbol library is located i'll go into the steel or decad library will do for the moment into blocks and i'll go into fire protection and just click on one of these and with the down arrow of the keyboard you can just scroll through the symbols that are in your particular symbol library. So it's a fairly simple CAD program to work with but produces proper vector drawing files.